Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to perfectly pin your sari so it will result in a perfectly draped sari. I am not going to show you how to drape your sari in this video, but if you want to learn that, you can always watch my detailed sari draping video in which I have explained every single step in very detail. And if you're new to this channel, I'm Sindhu. I love sarees and I love to teach how to drape it. So I hope you will enjoy this video. And if you like this video, definitely click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And follow me on Instagram where you can get more updates on with love Sindhu and about me. And let's get into the video. The very first step is pinning your pallu. When you start to pin your pallu, I would always suggest pinning your pallu separately and then getting it onto your blouse. This will help you to make sure your pallu stays really good and perfect all day every day. So I have pinned it. When you are pinning it, pin it horizontally which is really important. And then pin your sari not exactly on your shoulder blades but a little below your shoulder blades. That will help to make sure your sari looks perfectly pinned and not like oh yeah, just like uh, pinned and like didn't care much about it. So, Pin it a little below your shoulder blades and it is going to be really perfect. I'm just showing you up close how I actually pin it. So once you pin it, this is how it will look. And the next step is your pallu that is resting on your like chest and usually it will hit your neck which is a very very bad look in my opinion. So what you can do is you can like put your hands through the very first pleat and then push it inside. As I'm doing it, you can you see like I'm pushing it really inside and then I'm taking it from the other side on my blouse and hold it using your other hand and make sure you like how your uh, pallu is resting on your chest and then adjust it accordingly and then like adjust it as I'm doing, you know, like just pull it. It's, it's just going to take less than a minute and then pin it with your blouse securely. And what it will do is it will make sure your pallu and the pleat doesn't like move up and hit your neck. And the pin is also is not going to be seen. And it will give in a perfectly draped pleat on your neck area and on your chest area. At this stage don't worry about your pleats being messy or imperfect. Because in the upcoming steps we will make sure your pleats get perfect and it is like looking on point. Now that the pleat is looking perfect let's move on to the next one. So once you have done your pleats, now take your uh, sari through your waist and bring it diagonally under your belly button and make sure it rests diagonally on your uh, stomach area and on your uh, leg area. So it should like uh, reach diagonally as I am like draping it. Can you see how diagonally it goes and make sure it the drape is like lining up with your belly button. That is where my belly button is. So I'm making sure I'm like going to make sure it is resting exactly below my belly button not like in the place but the way it is going it is it should go below my belly button. Once I'm sure that it is like resting up in the right place I'm going to pin it on top of my leg along with the in skirt and I'm also pinning it in the very end of the sari which will allow it to stay in place. And the next pinning area is on your pleats. Once you have pleated your sari, you can like make sure you like the length of your pleats and then the place where you are going to tuck, you know how I am showing it here, the exact place where you are going to tuck, you are going to make a pin just above the line. So you, when you are doing it, make sure your pleats are like lined, aligned correctly and then pin your pin horizontally so it will rest real good when you like tuck your sari inside your in skirt. Once you are done, now you can tuck your sari in. Once you have tucked your sari, now it's time to like perfect your pleats. So start from your front pleat, uh, like uh, your shoulder pleat and make sure it aligns right and start pulling it. Once you pull it, it will gather together in your butt area and it will bulk up. So what you are going to do is, you are going to pull it and bring it to your side, waist side of your pleat. Once you pull it, every pleat will start aligning. So the very first pleat, you can see me adjusting. Not every sari is going to be the same. Even if you see my uh, sari draping videos on different saris, this stage, everything will be like little different. It depends on your waist size. It depends on how the sari is draping on your body. It depends on the sari type. So you have to know how to adjust it. It's not 
uh, rocket science it's just like adjusting it as it f flows on your body once it flows down you can just bring it in and then this time i'm going to pin it the very first pleat itself i'm going to like uh, make a pin so it will stay in place and it will look perfect before pinning and i'm making sure i like how it drapes and it is in the right place and when i'm pinning it i'm pinning it along with my in skirt which will make sure it won't the pin won't damage the sari when you're like walking and like uh, when you you know when you have movement in your sari once you have pinned it right the next step is to correct the other pleat the other pleat that i'm going to correct is going to make sure your sari doesn't bulk at your butt you know the one single pleat that will always make a kind of a bulky looking thing on your back so that won't happen when you do this step so once you pull this pleat that's going to like uh, look bulky in your back so pull it tight and make a triangle kind of a pleat you can see how i'm doing it there it just you need to adjust it according to your sari and uh, once you start doing it you will get a hang of it so you make sure you pull it tight not so tight but comfortably tight and then form a triangle kind of a pleat and fold it and then pin it in there so once you pin it there it's go everything is going to look neat and good and also when you're pinning these pins make sure you pin it vertically because the pinning you know we need to uh, camouflage that into our sari so doing it vertically will make sure the pins doesn't like show much as much as like when you pin it horizontally once it's done i'm just adjusting the pleats so the next step will be easier now after adjusting the pleats making sure my pleats are like uh, aligning from my belly button now i'm making sure all the pleats are aligned and now i'm going to pin it from inside of the in skirt why i'm going to pin it from inside of the in skirt is because my pins won't be visible that much but if you don't want to pin it from your inside you can pin a brooch or something that will look like a decorative piece on your sari when you're pinning it make sure you're pinning it on top of the other two pins that we have already pinned and make sure it is aligning right on your sari to pin this part you can always use a larger pin but i always use the smaller pins except for uh, when it comes to heavy slit sarees but you can use the smaller pins or large pins according to your convenience once you pin it the pleats will never go away from your waistline and will look perfect until you take off your sari the next tip is when you don't want to show your midriff or you don't want to show any skin this part where i'm showing you pin it in with your blouse it will make sure your sari stays in place and you will never show any skin the main thing here is you need to pin your sari like exactly na where naturally it flows and not like force it and pull it and uh, pin it if you do that it will create an awkward looking uh, thing where you will notice that your sari is actually pinned but when you pin it where the sari naturally flows you won't like uh, really notice that you have pinned the sari and your sari will also flow really neat and good i've always had people ask me how to make their sari stay on their chest area because most of the time if we don't notice our sari will like uh, drop from there and it is really awkward at times what you can do to avoid this make sure you use very small tiny pin and pin the sari along with your blouse from the inside and make sure you make a very tiny pin so it won't show on your sari but your sari will stay on place as you can see in the sari i have the border separately attached so it was very easy for me to pin it this way but you can always achieve this by using a very tiny pin so my pinks i hope you enjoyed all these tips these are the tips that i really use to achieve a perfectly draped sari and i hope you will like use it in your life and also enjoy having a perfectly draped sari and also if you have any other doubts or questions about this video please let me know in the comment section i'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible and also my pinks you can always join my private facebook group with love sindhu to have a great discussion about anything relating to fashion skin care and women empowerment i'm all about that facebook group link will be in the video description and if you want to watch more videos of mine there are two videos in the screen and also there is the subscribe button don't forget to click it i will catch you in my next video until then be kind to one another bye bye with love sindhu